magnetic island. This mummy koala and her baby is the cutest thing I've ever met apart from the monkeys in Bali. Literally just off the path, wild koala is so cute. I was dawdling and enjoying nature and didn't realise what the time was so I had to run from the top of Magnetic Island Fort right down to the bottom and able to get my bus so the walk should have taken an hour I managed to do it in half an hour and the last, like from the top down I managed to do it in 10 minutes running sweaty but I managed to get on the bus in time yes! so now I just need to get my ferry back to Australia <laughs> back to the mainland and get on my campsite for the night well, I mean, an adventure is not an adventure without a bit of action, right? And a girl came up to the ferry terminal. She's looking really, really panicked. Um, turned out she lost her ticket for the ferry, and she didn't have enough money to buy a new ticket. So I gave her the money to buy a new ticket, and she was very, very relieved. So that's my good deed for the day. Good morning. I have done my miracle morning. I do that every single day, including my yoga workout, which I did today. And then when I was doing my yoga, I saw a lady walking across this field and then she came back with two mangoes so I'm going to go hunting for mangoes found them well that was a fail can't reach them wonder if I can find a friend to help me I got one So last night I stayed at Mission Beach and this part of Queensland is known as the Greenway. So there's so many rainforests and cool places where you can go. And as you can see it's raining. It's been raining for some of the night as well. So I've gone on a waterfall hike. Well, let's see how many I can find. that I wanted to do it camping along the east coast but when I came out this time I didn't actually think that camping would be possible so tonight is my last night in my tent where I have to hand the car back in Cairns and it's going to be emotional I've loved my camping trip and I would definitely suggest to anybody who wants to travel the east coast of Australia to get camping because you're outside you're with nature you can go and explore you've got the freedom of having the car it's definitely the best way and thank you so much Ryan from Collective Hire whose customer service has been amazing and that's the main reason I went with this guy because it's his own company he's experienced with traveling he created these vehicles from his own experience from traveling around different parts of the world and really just wants other people to have an amazing experience while they're traveling so thank you so much Ryan you've been an absolute gem and I'm gonna link your business below because I think that everybody should travel in a vehicle like this around Australia
the cute fairy lights that are around the top of the tent that I can put on before I go to bed. And I also really, really love the USB chargers that are next to my bed that don't even run off the main battery. They run off a second battery. So you can use the lights in the boot and on the side of the car and the USB chargers up by the bed without draining out the main battery. Incredible. The fridge inside is awesome. It keeps everything nice and cold and essential. The water barrel, like everything that Ryan's thought of is amazing, crucial, and so, so important. I'm really impressed. So let me show you exactly where I went on my road trip. I covered from down here, all the way around the outside, up to the top. Starting in Melbourne, then to Phillip Island, then to Lake's entrance, Eden, Batemans Bay, Jarvis Bay with the beautiful white sands and the turquoise sea, Sydney, to Port Macquarie, and on to Coffs Harbour, Lennox Head, Noosa, Rockhampton, Early Beach, you go here to go and see the Whit Sundays. From Townsville, you can go to Magnetic Island and the Crystal Creek where the rock siding is. Mission Beach is on the Green Way, so you can go to the Waterfall Circuit and Josephine Falls from here. And lastly, we finished in Cairns. Australia. The road trip is over. I'm in Cairns now and it's super super humid and warm and it's dark at half past seven already. Tomorrow I'm going on the Great Barrier Reef. Exciting! Good morning from Cairns. I am so excited. The sun's out and I'm on my way to the boat to go snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef! loving Cairns so far and yesterday was epic. I went to the Great Barrier Reef for a day trip and planned to go snorkeling on the reef, on the Apollo Reef um, and just see some fish and just hang out with them. I ended up scuba diving at doing my first introductory dive with the fish so close to the coral and was playing with the sea cucumbers and the starfish and got face to face with some big beautiful like turquoise pink and purple. Oh my god they were just stunning. Seen stingray giant green turtles, Ugh. everybody should just dive. If you're a bit scared of it, because I thought I was going to be really terrified of the breathing apparatus and panic, just do it because it's incredible. And now I want to do my paddy. So today I've got another day in Cairns, I'm just going to relax and chill, try and get some energy back because this week I've been feeling really tired and kind of lifeless, not really wanting to do much exercise, although I've been doing a little bit anyway. So I'm going to hang out by the lagoon here. And then tonight the Christmas tree gets turned on, which is super weird because it's really hot, um, but it's sunny, but all the Christmas songs are being played as well. So it's going to be a relaxing day for me. Another week gone. <laughs> Where is the time going? So you may have noticed that this week I haven't filmed so much exercise and I definitely haven't done an exercise video for you guys either. I've been quite low in energy, quite tired 
and finishing my camping trip made a big impact on me actually because I really loved being outside, camping with the nature, waking up without aircon. She was quite upset about finishing my camping and, and being in Cairns and being in my hostel. The Cairns is beautiful, it's so chilled and relaxed and it's warm, which I love. So I haven't done much exercise, well I've done a little bit of running and this morning was really my first long run so I did four and a half miles and it felt really good but I have been keeping up with my miracle morning. Actually the miracle morning helps to change your mindset to become more full of energy and happier within yourself as well. I'll, I'll explain the miracle morning to you. So first of all I start with my gratitude and I use an app to do that with and it's being grateful for the things that are around you, your health, your family, your friends. Just being grateful shows how much amazing things you've got in your life even if you think that there's not much that going on there is so much amazing things going on. You're alive, for starters. Then I move on to my reading, and I'm, I have all my books on my Kindle, and I read a book that's gonna teach me something about life, about finance, about business. And by reading a chapter or 10 pages a day, I, I'm reading and learning a lot, so I'm committing to my knowledge. And because I've been doing the Miracle Morning for the last three or four years, I've, I've read so many books. And I move on to my exercise and my meditation. So whether if that's yoga, pilates, or running, or HIIT training, meditation, whatever, just some sort of thing to get me up and moving and getting my brain and my body working. And it really, really helps. And to the extent that yesterday I actually noticed that for the first time, maybe ever, Ever, I actually felt confident in myself. I felt confident about the fact that I was going to the lagoon in my bikini, which you're gonna probably watch this and think you're crazy. You're a personal trainer, of course you look amazing, or whatever. Everybody has their insecurities, and yeah, I do do lots of fitness, I eat well, but you know, there's still those insecurities there that don't let me feel very confident myself. And miracle Morning really, really helps, and if I can help you start your own Miracle Morning, then go read the Miracle Morning by um, Hell Elrod. So I'm about to jump on my flight to go to uh, Brisbane. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe and tell your friends. But don't forget to stay happy and healthy. Become more full of energy, happier. But I love my Kindle.